What's up everybody, this is David Jagno, aka The Jaggernaut, and I'm here with some Elden Ring gameplay. I've been streaming this game a ton over on my Facebook gaming page, which you can find down in the links below. Uh, this boss fight in particular that I'm going to show today is the ulcerated tree spirit at the bottom of the stranded graveyard near the beginning of the game in the Fringe Folk Heroes Cave. You need two stone sword keys to get inside this area. I'm going to show you uh, how you can get to this boss and what you get for it, as well as the seven attempts that it took me uh, to finally beat it. You can skip ahead to around 15 minutes and 39 seconds to see the try and finally defeated the beast. So here you go. This was a tough fight, but it was a lot of fun. Now, oh yeah, that's right. I, I, I read about a talisman inside this cave. Pecan... <laughs> Let's just feel it out. Let's go. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Well then, that was nuts. Can I summon people? <laughs> okay, I guess let me try. Let me try this again. <laughs> okay, what do I do? I have anything on me with sacred? Yeah. Okay. Dodge and dodge and hit hard and heal. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm probably not going to use the bow, right? No, that's still... I'm still heavy. Um, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I guess... I guess I'll try the wolves, or maybe I should do the jellyfish? Okay. So that's when it bites you. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, this boss is really ridiculous. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. 
that was the tail attack. I dodged that one. Dang it. <sighs> I was doing pretty good though. Uh, James, to get his head down, um, the scythe does a lot of blood buildup. So you can see down there it says blood blood loss buildup, and if you can get that up really high, it'll take like a it'll be like an explosion effect, and that does a lot of stagger and guard counters. So whenever I do my barricade shield and then I block and follow up, it it contributes a lot to the stagger, which lets you get in a critical hit. It's kind of the whole basis of this build. Dang it. Dodge too late. Dodge too late. Crap. I used the wrong one. Stuck trying to switch back to one handed, I completely messed it up.
I am, uh... Dang. Oh, the seven ashes are good. Okay, Tommy, thank you. I appreciate it. David Ray, everyone, everyone. Thank you for the likes. Oh, thanks, David. <laughs> Matt, thank you for the like. Appreciate it. Anders, thank you. All right, all right. All the likes. I, I got. I gotta. I gotta live up here. Maybe I should use a different summon. Maybe I should use the wolves. I'll try the wolves. Let's let's see how the wolves go. Whoops. Um. This is what I'm trying to do. see what the hell he's doing. Not a fan of that. Explosion is such garbage. Dang. <clears throat> yeah, this is a hard boss, Orlando. The room is like, I feel like the room is too small. I don't. I, I just, I don't like how it can f go through the wall, you know, like it just feels, it feels cheap, like cheaper than most bosses. I'm not a fan.
There we go. Oh. I can block most of that. Oh, that was a stupid attack. God, oh, my heart is beating <laughs> so fast. Oh. oh, man, my hands are so sweaty right now. Oh, my gosh. All right, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. You can watch my live gameplay of Elden Ring and a bunch of other games over on my Facebook gaming page, fb.gg slash the Jaggernauts Gaming, linked down below. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.